Hi Taurus, Taurus cross watchers, Taurus sun, moon, rising, Venus, all of those placements, okay? Uh, this will be a bonus reading for Taurus. Since this is Taurus season, we're going to take a look and see what is the message here for you. I am working on doing almost personal readings for all signs more consistently. But because the, the views were low on some of them, I am trying to figure out what I'm going to do moving forward with that. Okay. All right. So Taurus, let's see. What is it that Spirit is asking for Taurus to release at this time? What are you being asked to release yourself from? Taurus. Three cards. So over one. Okay. I'll put this back. But it says surrender to spirit. But then three other cards fell on top of that. All right. What is it that Taurus needs to surrender, release? Okay. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Okay. So kind of similar to surrender to spirit. It's about you learning to trust yourself in your own judgment when it comes to things. I mean, you know what is best for you. So listening to the opinions of other people about your life may not always be the best thing. Now, sometimes people do give good advice and have a lot more wisdom. But you go with your gut, your instinct, and what your intuition is telling you about a situation. And you're being asked to lean on that and trust it. Okay? Let me give me one more here for Taurus. One more for Taurus. Wow, a lot. <laughs> Oh, Taurus, what's going on with you? All right, there we go. Let's see what this is. Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. So maybe this has to do with you trusting the decision that you are about to make, trusting a move, trusting um, a course. You could be, you could be um, thinking about traveling somewhere, moving, relocating. Um, there's something that you could be working on at this moment. You could be procrastinating because you don't trust yourself. You don't trust the decision that you're making. And this is what spirit wants you to do, to trust in yourself, trust your, your gut when it comes to certain things. But you should also trust spirit as well because surrender to spirit did come out for you. All right. So let's take a look at what it is that Taurus needs to be embracing at this time what should Taurus be embracing we saw what you should surrender but what is Taurus needing to embrace the full card so you should embrace taking this risk taking this journey this chance whatever this is for you Taurus there's a new beginning that um, is waiting for you okay so you should embrace it can I get one more clarity here for and maybe you're in, you're afraid that you're going to regret the move I just saw the five of cups you could be afraid that you're going to have to leave some things behind. But look, the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, whatever this risk is that you are being asked to take, it leads you to the Ace of Pentacles, a new financial start, something that is going to be long-term sub substantial for you. This is an open door being gifted to you by spirit, okay? Um, you ought to take this chance and don't be afraid, all right? Beautiful, beautiful. Why is Taurus... What is, has Taurus so afraid to make this move? What what has you like this? Let's see. Oh, Eight of Swords. You're afraid that you're going to get stuck or trapped or confused or that something's going to cause you to be, um, you know, bound to, to something. This is just you being trapped in your mind, unsure of, you know, whether you're going to be able to get out or not. I don't know. Something like that, Taurus. This is fear. This is you in your head about something. But this, the, I don't see the need to worry. What what steps should Taurus take to to help Taurus to get yeah, eight Knight of Wands? Just go for it. Go for your passion. Go for it. The Knight of Wands goes in ready for battle, hot and ready. Okay, so Spirit wants you to just go and take this chance here. And you're looking over your shoulder and you're concerned because you've already been through so many things. But look at you. You're eyeing the Ten of Pentacles. You want it. You want this Ace of Pentacles. You want this long-term 
um, substantial financial stability, this family, whatever this is that, it, that you um, desire, you're looking at it, but you're also very guarded because you're afraid of maybe the, the hoops and the hurdles or the challenges that you're going to have to face to get it. And you're also afraid, that, what if I get there and decide that I don't want it anymore? Will I be able to get out? So there's some fear here, Taurus, that you are dealing with. Okay, but spirit wants you to 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 trust. Trust this process, okay? What's going on with Taurus when it comes to love? What's going on with Taurus? What's coming in for Taurus singles? If you're a Taurus and you're single, what's coming in for you? The hermit car flipped over could be a Virgo, or you could be some of you could just be hiding in, in isolation at this moment not really thinking about love but let's see what's coming in for those singles that want love two of pentacles in reverse two of pentacles upright is is someone who's trying to maintain balance keep things under control could be juggling finances so maybe you focus on your finances and your stability right now Two of Pentacles in reverse could also indicate that there is someone that's coming towards you who may have been unsure in the past. Yep, Knight of Cups is coming out. That may have been unsure about you. It looks like someone wants to come in and um, make some type of offer to you. They want to express some type of love or interest in you, Taurus. The two of Swords upright, though. Um, maybe you have your guard up towards this person, or you will. Who's in this two of sword in this decisive energy? Because it looks like you're blocking off this person from coming towards you when they do come. Uh, the sun card kind of came in reverse. Um, it just flipped up in the air. Could be a Leo energy. Yep, ten, of, ten of wands. So something may have already been a burden. Um, but this is, I asked about singles. This is... <clears throat> Tire singles, someone could be coming towards you and you could be uncertain about them or they could be uncertain about you. Someone wants to make some type of love gesture or offer or uh, show some type of love towards you, I feel, Taurus. But I feel like you may have your guard up towards this person or they may have their guard up to you because you're not sure as to whether it's going to make you happy or if it's going to be a burden. Okay, so there's someone coming. What sign could this person be? So Taurus, we know. more could be an air sign five of swords energy here <clears throat> why five of swords four of wands now this could be someone who wants to celebrate with you move in um have a marriage get a home or this could be someone who you may have, have already dealt with in the past. Maybe you guys live together. Maybe this person, um, maybe there was a bit of strife or some type of confusion between you and this person in the past. Okay. What about those that are in a relationship? What's, what's going on with that? Taurus, some some of you that are in a relationship are finding out about a third party, or you're 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 disappointed in the partnership at this moment for some of you. Okay, you got the three of sword and the three of pentacles here, which is crazy because you got the two of pentacles here and the two of swords. So some of you could be a Taurus dealing with an air sign. All right, it doesn't have to be, but. There's some type of disappointment or heartbreak going on with those of you that are in a connection. What is this about? <clears throat> what is this about? For those that are in a connection, what's this three? Nine of Pentacles. Someone be choosing to be single, self-sufficient, stand on their own. Why? What's the Nine of Pentacles? Taurus, this could be you. Making a decision to be single. Queen of Swords. Yeah, someone's cutting some someone out. Someone's seeing through something here with the part with the relationship, Taurus. So some of you are going through breakups and endings, disappointments, choosing to be single. And then others of you that are currently newly single, you have 
someone who's under who you're uncertain about or they're uncertain about you um as to whether this whether it could be happy or 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 not all right <laughs> okay taurus let's go to the message of love what's the message of love here for taurus boundaries firm boundaries are needed now forgiveness forgiving yourself and another will help you to move forward and one more here for Taurus. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Okay, so some of you have a friendship with someone and someone in this connection desires for it to go further. Okay, someone wants more out of the connection than just a um, just a friendship. Okay, so don't be surprised if you hear from someone who wants to be more than friends or if someone begins to ex you know, express this to you or you express this to someone else. But you're setting boundaries with someone. This is like a different, probably a different person, most likely. You're setting boundaries or you need to, okay? But forgiveness is is required here. For those of you that are ending something, you know, forgive yourself and forgive this person so you can move forward, okay? All right, let's go to the Sassy Vibes deck. Let's see what, what message comes out for Taurus from the Sassy Vibes. I call divine connections into my life. That's what you're doing, Taurus. You don't want any more uh, fly-by-night energies. You're, you're sick and tired of it. You want divine connections, whether it's in relationships, dealing with your finances or anything. You're wanting more, um, you're wanting more from the people that, that you're surrounded by. Let me get one more. I call in real love and allow fake love to ex exit my life. Yep. That's what you're, you're calling in a soulmate. You're calling in divine connection. Um, whether it's a business partnership or real love, it looks like you're doing both. Wow. Okay. Let's pull from the angel romance deck here for Taurus. New love. <laughs> a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing and let your friends help you. We got friendship right here. I'm telling you, some of you are going to be in a new connection with someone who's like a friend right now. Or they or it starts out as a friend. That has come out twice. So, keep your eyes out, guys. All right, Taurus? Mm -hmm. Looks good. Let me pull from the Monology deck. And I'll let you guys go. What's the message from the Monology deck? Too many cards here, Taurus. What's the message from the moonology? Here we go. Well, we got two. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo, and a new start is coming with the new moon. Okay, so just know that you are good enough. It sounds like you're going back to the message in the beginning to take this risk, take this chance into something new, Taurus. It's going to benefit you very well. Do not be afraid to um to embrace the newness. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave this reading here, Taurus. Um, it's been my pleasure doing this reading for you. It feels very good. Um, what you can look forward to is very positive, okay? Um, I don't, you know, nothing really negative came out of your reading. And that doesn't mean that you all are not going through certain things, but maybe Spirit just wants you to focus on the positive things that are coming into your life at this moment. All right, Taurus. So I'll see you on the next one.